Denver 7 On Demand is brought to you by Ferguson and BAC Appliance Center. The best in bath, kitchen, and lighting for your home. I'm Tom Mustin with the latest from Denver 7. Snow up on the high country is made for some misery today. All day long, we watched as cars slid out of control and turned I-70 into a frozen parking lot. Luckily, we haven't heard of any serious injuries. Tonight, we do know that two people killed in a deadly crash in Fort Collins Thanksgiving Day were a teacher from Iowa and the daughter he was visiting in Colorado. Rick Knees and his daughter Nicole died after a truck slammed into them Thursday morning. That driver is suspected of stealing the truck, then using it as a battering ram to steal from a pawn shop earlier that day. That man is now under arrest. From 5-0 and oh to 5-7, and seven, CU season came to an end in disastrous fashion tonight with a loss to Cal. That puts the Buffs out of range of a bowl game and squarely in the hunt for a new coach. And from the First Alert Weather Center, here's a check on your forecast. After snow today, we warm things up. We'll have mostly sunny days tomorrow with a high of 40. We warm it again even more to, on Thursday to 55, and then we cool it off just a bit, but stay sunny to 46 on Saturday. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thanks for joining us. Check back here later for another update and download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Tom Mustin. Have a great day.